Alrighty, tonight's video, um, we're going to base it more on doing um, root base for the Desert Rose, so we're going to study more on this. Uh, it's called Nabari, um, whatever you want to call it. I, I, I like it because it's fucking cool. Some people call it fat belly. Let's get fatted up, why not? Alright, um, if you look, this has been on here a little bit too long. You can see it's the plant, and when we take it off, but that's what happens when you have a fast growing plant. Get healthy. Some of the things, too, is I'm going to do a little bit of pruning, I'm going to cut it all the way down here. and I'm going to try to propagate all this so Lobo Your day breaks, your mind aches. You find that all her words of kindness linger on when she no longer needs you. I find music does very well with the plants. You want her, you need her, and yet you don't believe her when she says her love is dead. You think she needs you. So this is actually some pretty good soil, bonsai soil. So I kind of want to save it. So I'm going to bring out one of my water trays. Look at this root base. Since I have planted it in here, I mean, look at that. We're going to expose all of that. Yes. And that's what I'm talking about. 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 What am I talking about? So, see back here how we have that, um, that's where the wire, of course, is holding the plant in, so we're going to snip it. Remember how we were talking about root base? Yeah. Very wonderful. I gotta get some pictures of this actually. So, I'm going to save this. I'm probably going to reuse this in the repotting of this plant. Of course, I'm going to put um, new fertilizer in there. But, let's get back and maybe we'll look at how we're going to reposition this, reposition this plant. Reposition! I am from Georgia, so that was not... A stereotypical voice. Sometimes that's how I talk. 
This one might come off. Thinking of positioning it like this. Would that not be cool? Would that not be cool? I think that would be super cool. I think that would be super cool. But I want to let's see what I gotta trim root wise. I kinda gotta trim the roots around. So I'm gonna be Sometimes you don't always have to be gentle. The plant knows. Sometimes it likes it rough. Because life's not always gentle. I'll have to find exactly what this looked like when it was first given to me. That's what I always like, because I always kind of like I always like digging up the roots and seeing what they look like. So we're going to wind up planting it around like this. Okay, I want to tuck this root just right there. Okay. So now that I have the idea in hand, I can get, I can get the bonsai I pot set up. Okay. Is everyone still there? Are we all still there? For my Japanese homies, bonsai. Bonsai. I think I have an uncle, a great uncle or grandfather that would probably strongly disagree with that, but. I don't think YouTube's really gonna let this video on. To be honest. Anyways. So what I'm going to wind up doing is I am going to put wires from this one to this one and that one to that one. Okay? So get my wire. This is just that standard green wire you can get from the big box stores or whatever you want to call them, chain stores. I don't give a shit if you shop there or not. Don't bother me. I got friends that grew up in this small town that had their families working at those stores, so I don't see a problem with that. I think that's really all I'm going to need to put in is just the, the two like this. I don't think I'm going to need to put the other ones in. So let's go ahead and get some dirt in there. I already had a scoop full. I'm going to use the course, of course. I like the course. It's always one of them. You sleeping over there, Elwood? Some sidekick. He says, Dad, why are you always planting? That's what I do, son.
So I've kind of developed a gradual slope, as you can see. We put fertilizer down in here. And as you can kind of see the plant rest right on top. So let's get a little bit of fertilizer. I use an 18 six by eight for most of my bonsai. Um, the high nitrogen just provides for vegetative growth. Um, and then it provides enough, um, you know, phosphorus and potassium for flowering. Um, just make sure that it's got good micronutrients in it. I also feed with liquid fertilizer um, every couple of weeks. And then I can kind of control uh, the NPK as well as the micronutrients that are going into the plant for whatever season it is. And if I want to encourage flowering or not. It's very interesting. The more you get into why a plant grows, why it flowers, why it germinates. If you really, really, really get into why a plant does. That's all I can say. So, <laughs> let's see why Kyle does. So I'm going to kind of uh, bring this wire down around the roots and uh, tie it down that way. So that way I can have the plant secure. I'm going to wait before I tie it all the way down. Um, it's something I learned working at the hardware. Wait till you're done and tighten down all the screws. See, I wasn't quite done. Need to just get a little bit more soil packed up there. Get a little bit more soil up and all that. So I'm almost going to fill it right up to the brim, basically, from what I'm seeing with this with this rose and how I want to present the root base. So, I mean, that's the biggest thing is you really want the plant to show you how it wants. Because, you know, it's a phenotype. And it wants to display itself, you know. And so what we're doing is we are giving it basically the proper arena to be beautiful. So like I said, we're going to bring the wire up. I don't know if you saw it, but I put it through the bottom root, brought it up. I'm going to bring this one through the back root. Bring them both under the smaller roots. You see on this side, I'm taking it and making sure I'm not just wrapping over roots other than the key ones I want to secure down and make sure it's up in the back corner and position how I want it. Let's go ahead and just remove these here. Okay. 
So, you know, never be afraid to say goodbye, but don't be too over anxious to say goodbye, you know what I mean? Because you can never bring it back when, I mean, you can take the cutting and regrow the plant, but you can't ever put it, necessarily put it back on once you cut it off. But you don't want to be afraid. Because sometimes, you know, what you think is damage to the plant really just makes it grow better. So don't be afraid, but don't be over anxious if that makes any sense. You know, like, like here's a good one. Like you see this, this right here? See this? It's beautiful, but it really should be underground. And I could cover it up. But I have all of this, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off and say, we'll see you later, you know? Because I have all this other good root base in here. I might come and, you know, I mean, you see some of this. It's a little messy. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll cut that off. And uh, let's get back to resoiling. Still over there. Another one. We can say fairly well. See if we can get a little more fertilizer in there. Kind of toss it around. Very beautiful plant. I wonder if carving into it would do anything. poker and this just basically helps the soil get down into the cracks you'd be surprised if you were you thought you had your soil filled up and you didn't do this and uh, you know after a good couple of waterings and then you'd be like oh man I didn't put any soil in there and your plant would be all funky in its setting so make sure that you get your soil in there and you really want to be precise. Like, I know it looks like I'm just like. But like uh, look for the nooks and crannies. You know look for the nooks and crannies. And kind of you know. And you don't have to be like. Ch -ch -ch -ch. You can kind of tap 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 tap. You know uh, very light actually. And it just makes them. Because if you do it very hard. You'll shoot the, the rocks everywhere. <laughs> shoot them everywhere. Um, you know. Especially when you're using coarse, like I like to use. See, here's a better example on this side because we have more root structure that um, is going to engulf the rock.
And, you know, I mean, as long as you do it with love. The plant will respond very well to all of this. If you do it with, like, hate and frustration. I mean, sometimes when you have a lot of hate and frustration, it's good to work with the plant. You know. Because you can always put energy in the plant. And that plant will take it and it'll just grow. You know what I'm saying? So, be careful what kind of chi and energy you put into the plant. If you're having a bad day, it's better to put it into a plant that, I don't know, I'm not very good at keeping jobs. They say don't lose your job, but I say fuck it too many times. But, just who I am. So, I got this desert rose from the um, person that I hired to help me train Elwood over there. For my little buddy. His wife apparently grows these seeds. I had gotten it to flower numerous amount of times, and this thing will bloom it will pop i mean i'm telling you it's flower 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 very warm these gorgeous pink flowers and i'll wear them around you know i got a little gator clip carry them around so i'm hoping that this cutting will do something similar now cuttings they don't quite get the root mass that you'll see from seedlings but you know if you train them right you'll get just as much a flower display off of them. So, you know, don't let people hate on cuttings. Just be like 4th of July, bam! New Year's Eve, bam! You know what I'm talking about? Throw, throw a bouquet in their face and tell them, listen, homie, I'll do this. Now, never be afraid to tighten things down. It's getting nice and tight. You can also tighten it uh, from below. Make sure it's tight before you clip it. Tight, tight, tight. Save that little bit of wire. It may come in handy. I know I kind of I might wire these I might might wire these and bring these off a bit what do you think what do you think is it gonna work nah. but I'm gonna do this see what happens let's see what happens I figure if I teach people this way, it's less likely I'll be disappointed. Because when you teach people in person, they 
break your heart. I mean, not family, but just the rest of it. It hurts your heart. And so if you get it secure enough, um, one of the things you got to remember is these are uh, freshly exposed roots. They're not used. Because remember, these were probably an inch and a half under, under the old dirt where we brought them to the surface. So we're not going to put it in direct sunlight. We're going to put it under shade. We want to make sure everything is nice and exposed that we want. saw it's a little tricky not quite looking secure So there you go. Look at the root. We got a whole new root discovery there that we never saw before. Remember, this is all we saw before. This is what we see now. Got some back here. No gin was carved. In the root. Only just a simple removal here, and we topped the branches. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.